Hi, you make my day extra special by adding a cherry on top. So today's tutorial is a sweet cherry blossom look to celebrate how beautiful each and every one of you are. Now we're applying our eye primer or our eye base. With a pearly pinky shade, we're going to apply that all over the lid area as a base color. We're keeping the intensity of this base color low for a more sweet and innocent look. With a pearly rice paper shade, apply to the inner third of your eye area and also as a highlight on your brow bone. Applying this with your eyes closed can cover more areas such as your inner tear duct and also your lower lash line. Now you see how your eyes catch more light. With a golden shade, we're going to apply this to the center of the eye area where your eyeball will sit when you close your eyes. Blend the golden shade a bit into the highlight and also the outer V area. We still want the brightness of the gold but at the same time have a smooth transition into the other colors. In the outer V, we're going to apply a matte pink shade. This will give a different texture to the eyes and also intensify the pink. Be sure to blend into the gold as we want a gentle flow of colors. And now your eyes should look something like this. With a thin liquid liner, we're going to line our eyes. Be sure to keep the lines very thin. From here you guys can see I'm adding a little wing at the end to give it a more feminine touch. Now we're just curling our lashes. And applying mascara. That's our eyes done. For our cheeks today, we're going to wear a pinky sweet shade. Now this step is completely optional. I'm showing you guys how to achieve a gradient lip. Now since my lips are very pigmented, I'm going to conceal them with a concealer. Working the intensity of the concealer from out to in for a transitional look. Now with a red lip tint, apply this to the center of our lips. Be sure to have a fast hand at this because the tint tends to dry really fast. By doing this, you can also create an illusion of a smaller lip. You should have somewhat a vampire lip now. Now with a pigmented pink lip balm, apply it all over the lips. See how your lips have this transitional color from light to dark? And that's the final look. This look is full of youthfulness and innocence and the gradient lips give it that special touch. Thanks for watching, bye!